What's up, guys? Matt Nuzzo here at the Real Flagship Store with Andre Phillip from oh. Antigua. Come and talk to you guys about the Tona Pop. Dre, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. How's the Triple S? It's a good event. Dude, saw you in the finals. Yeah, you know, trying, you know, trying to hang in there with the young boys. Oh, guys, still got it, man. Good to see. You. Good to see. You. Awesome, man. Well, uh, it's like to see uh, you guys out here on the on the Tonas. Um, got the Tona Pop here. Uh, tell me about it, man. Pretty sick looking board. Thanks. Um, yeah, this is the pop. This is the board that Jake likes to ride. Um, it's just one of those boards that's really fast, really explosive. Um, and once you get it on edge, it really locks in, which is a feeling that a lot of people really like. Um, that's due to the to the bottom shape. You can kind of see the concave oh, yeah. there. Check the and rail then those Really deep channels. So once you once you put the board on edge, it um really locks in and, and gives you a good bite. Even with these small fins, it still get a, just get a, lot, a lot of bite out of the pop, huh? Yeah, well that's the thing. Um, myself and Jake, we like to ride finless a lot. Mm -hmm. So the boards are actually designed to be ridden with or without fins. But if you don't have fins, you still get lots of bite. Right. Um, and then, and th that's why we can kind of get away with these small fins. Right. Because um, the fin works with the channels to give you extra bite. Cool. So a little education for all those people out in cyber world. Why would you ride a kite board without fins? Um, if you want just a little bit more to be able to to slip out and, and um you know sip from sip one eighties or or ride and antique ride style rails. is that what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, we like to ride up the beach and hit rails and, and kickers and stuff, and for that you don't want your fins on. Right. Um. So it's just nice to have a board that you can take the fins off and still be very comfortable. Still tracks. Yeah, I've I've taken fins off boards and they're like washing out like crazy. Like as soon as you flatten the board. Thing washes out like crazy right. with the pop, you know, testing it out, it's like, bam, things like, you flatten out, the thing's still locked in. Edge it, it just edges harder. It's almost, it feels like it has fins when you ride it finless. Right, exactly. So, no, that's cool, man. And um, also notice this board, too, it's got that thicker rail. What's up with the with the wider rail? Um, basically, to be able to get the channels nice and deep, mm -hmm. um, we have to go with a thicker core. Mm -hmm. um, and that just allows us to, to put some deep channels in there to give you, you know, that really good locked-in feel. It's, it's hard to do that when you have a, a thin base. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Real, those real super, super thin boards, you can't get the bottom shape. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I noticed too, these things got that heavy duty P Tex base on it, it's super bomb proof. I mean, this thing feels like you can ride it for the rest of your life and it's going to really last, you know, which is which is awesome. So, um, with the, uh, with the uh, tonal boards here, dude, where are you going to put the handle? Man, you got, you, you got like handles. <laughs> you got two handles here, here and here, right? right there. <laughs> And yeah. it doesn't ship with boots. It doesn't ship with boots or foot straps. So, like, can you ride this with foot straps? You know, like, if, I, if I'm normally riding, you know, I, I ride boots. I really enjoy riding boots. But can you ride this board with foot straps? Yep. Um, to tell you the truth, the boards are, are designed to be ridden with straps or with bindings. Um, when we're designing, we want to design a board that feels good. No right. Ma no matter how you're attached. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, throw the boots on, throw straps on, whatever you like, and, cool. and it's still going to feel good. And so a six-inch spread here? Six inch spread. Six standard. inch spread standard, man. So, yeah, so Tona Pop, you know, it sounds like it's going to be your kind of all arounder, like lots of bite, you know, from everyone that's been t demoing and testing here, just like love that, you know, locked in feel. Like, you know, even had some beginner slash inter intermediate riders get on it and they're just like, man, this thing hammers up wind, just really feels controlled and locked in, you know? Yeah. So, the, you know, it's a, it's a touch heavier weight with all the, with the thickness and all the, get all that bottom shape, but all those things translate into getting you a really, really positive, positive feel, positive response. So bomb again, proof. And bomb proof, you know, like having a board that's going to last, not d and you know, falling apart. I know you guys tested these things through and through, really put a lot of people on them and put them through the paces. So Tona Pop, it's going to last you a long time, and it's a sick board for that all-around board, all-around rider. Dre, thanks for the heads up. All right. See you Thank in a while, bud. Yeah.